Hello, in this video we're going to be training our YOLO v4 tiny model with our data set that we created in the last video on RoboFlow to, uh, for our smart dash cam. So first things first, uh, once you go on your dashboard in RoboFlow, we need to create a link that we can use so that we can upload all our photos onto Google Colab. So up here on the top right, you would need to click generate, but before that, you this is what is what your this is what your dashboard would look like. You would click on your data set that you created over here, and then you would press generate. This would take a second. All right, so once you finish um, generating, you are gonna get to this window right here where you can select your format for uh, your link. And in this case, we have Eolo Darknet. And then you can press continue. And then you can copy your link and we can paste it in here. All right, so now we can start running everything and I'll make sure to link this notebook in the description below. So right now we want to see which, uh, what GPU Google Collab gave us. All right, so first you need to change your runtime to GPU, and then you can run this. All right, so it looks like we have the Tesla V100. So right now it doesn't show up on this cell over here, and by default it's gonna be set to 60. We can just run that normally. All right, uh, and then we can just clone this repository so now since our GPU did uh, isn't shown in this cell I'll also create a link for this website over here and it'll show you which number you have so right now we have a Tesla v100 so we would have SM underscore 70 and compute underscore 70 so now what this means is that in this cell down here we would take out the hashtag so uncomment the command or the SED command and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this number compute to 70 and SM to 70 so you only change this first part over here in the front so basically actually instead well, we need to change this last part down here all right and so it just on which GPU you have most likely if you don't have collab pro you're gonna get one of these and then you can just change up here and not mess with any of these commands down here all right so now once you finish with the SED you can just run this now it's just gonna give a lot of these lines and then I'll show you what the end result should look like at the end and this is probably gonna take a minute or two all right, so it should show a command like this, G++, and then you got all of these uh, words after. So it should look something like this for your last line. All right, and now install all our um, pre-trained YOLO v4 tiny weights. So we can just run this. Now if you look in the folder over here, here's Darknet. And now here is our link that we installed. So now it'll install all our images and here's our pre-trained weights now uh, here is um, a bunch of settings for your training so now we're just gonna run this alrighty and then we're gonna run this as well All right, so now here's our config. Uh, here we can change our batch size and everything like that. Here we just set it to 64. You can just run that. Here's our configuration. All right. And here we can start the training.
All right, so it should be showing the training now. And this should take like an hour max. It shouldn't take too long. See, it shows right here, 0 0.9 hours. So you can just let that run. Make sure if you're on a laptop or something that your uh, computer doesn't go to sleep. Otherwise, you're gonna have to restart it all over again. All right, so once we finish training, you can see that it said saved weights to the backup folder. So we can see our weights over here. And we have our final weights and our best weights and the last weight. So we would want to use one of those. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to use one of these uh, weights files and convert them to an NCNN. And then we can use that in our Android Studio project. And then we can create it into an APK and test out our smart dash cam. So we're going to run these cells. All right. And then we run our last cell over here and it will just show us an image and the detection. All right. And here we can see detected a car. So we know our model was a success. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.